Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day to our respected lecturer Dr. Muhammad Khaidin bin Abu Talib And our fellow friends We group 2 Will present our Project entitled Review of Ground Improvement of Problematic Soil Using Shredded Waste Tire Enjoy So these are our group members From left It's me, Mama Islam bin Mama Yusuf and my friend Nur Awatif Hazika binti Muhammad Rosli, Mama Hafi bin Johan, Nurul Mazatul Najihah binti Basirul and Mama Arif bin Sugifli. I will start first for introduction of our project. Construction on soft soil, particularly peat, presents numerous challenges in civil engineering. Engineers regard peat as a particularly difficult type of soft soil. As a result, people are more likely to avoid building on the soils or to remove and replace them. In Malaysia, peat and organic soil cover about a million hectares, accounting about 8% of the total land mass. Because the water table exists at, near or above the ground surface, access to the peat deposit is typically difficult. Then, silky clays are soils with high moisture content and a large portion of fine particles like silks and clay. It also has a low yield stress, low strength and high compressibility as well as low permeability and thus poor construction issues due to undesirable engineering properties. Many students have been conducted to treat soft soil using techniques such as chemical treatment, geosynthetic reinforcement and removing and replacing film material. This method, however, are ineffective and costly. Next, since the world is moving towards a greener environment and technology, waste materials such as agriculture and industrial waste are being used to stabilize or reinforce various types of soils. In Malaysia, the number of motor car waste tires generated annually in the country was estimated to be 8.2 million or approximately 57,391 ton. About 16% of the waste tire are disposed via a new road. Waste tires in Malaysia are neither categorized as a solid waste or hazardous waste. It is generally considered as business or trade waste. Hence, currently there is no specific law or regulation which governs waste tire management. So, the goal of The study was to select and review past studies regarding the ground improvement of problematic soft soil using shredded waste tires. The papers selected will be listed, reviewed and discussed to find efficiency of uses of waste tires on problematic soils. For the next part, the first chosen paper for our case study is entitled Ground Improvement of Problematic Soft Soils Using Shredded Waste Tire by N. N. Nick Daud, Z. M. Yusof, and A. S. Muhammad from University Putra Malaysia. In this paper, the author focus on shredded waste tires mixed with soft soils to improve their strength and drainage properties. They carry out a series of tests on peat and clay soil mixed with 0%, 10%, 20% and 30% of the shredded waste tire. This study resulted in different results as they carry out the experiments on a soil with different percentages of shredded waste tire. First, MDD of soil tire mixtures decreased with an increase in the percentage of shredded tires for both soil shredded tire mixture due to the lightweight nature of shredded tires. The value of OMC increased with increase of shredded waste tire. This is simply the result of higher absorption ability of the shredded waste tire. Then, the experiments also resulted in the coefficient of permeability of soil tire shredded mixture increasing significantly with increase of percentage shredded tire waste. On the other hand, The author found that the permeability of peat soil coefficient is slightly higher than the clay. This is due to the shredded rubber tire having reduced 
the surface contact of soil then reducing the cohesion of the soil and resulting in the soil being more permeable. Furthermore, the authors also found that the CBR value increased with the addition of shredded tire waste for both soil samples. Lastly, the experiment results show that the cohesion and angle of internal fraction increase and decrease respectively with an increase in shredded tire waste for both samples. In conclusion, the authors mentioned that this method in problematic soil improvement needs further studies before using them in practice, especially for subgroup purpose. Assalamualaikum and good day to my lecturer Dr. Muhammad Khaide bin Abu Talib. Alright, I will continue our presentation at case study. Before that, my name is Nurul Maizatuna Jiha binti Basirun and my metric number is CF2068. For the second review in our case study, we have chosen the investigation on behavior of soil reinforced with shredded waste tire by V. Vinod and Beleshua Singh. The chosen case study investigate the behavior of soil rainforest with shredded tire. The current study will look into the impact of shredded waste tire on the strength of locally available soil. So let's take a look at the testing. For the first testing, which is compaction testing, optimum moisture content is unaffected by the addition of shredded tire and the maximum dry density decreases as the shred tire content increase. For the second testing, which is unconfined compression testing, when shreds are added to a soil medium, a portion of the soil is replaced with elastic material. As a result, the soil mixture becomes softer and the reinforced specimen behavior shift to ductile. And the last test in the last testing, which is direct shear test, the shear stress in the sand shred combination, on the other hand, continue to rise with horizontal movement. This result in sand shred meets requiring higher displacement to mobilize the ultimate shear strength than sand alone. As a result, because substantial quantity of shredded waste tire and locally available soil can you can be utilized, it is possible to conclude that their use in geotechnical application will positively impact the environment. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum and good day to my fellow friend and respected Dr. Muhammad Kaide bin Abu Talib. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nur Awati Fazika, Binti Muhammad Rosli and my metric number is CF200084. In this presentation, I would like to concentrate on case study for the third review paper. A review on the improvement of soil characteristic using shredded rubber. Shredded rubber tire have recently received a lot of attention in geotechnical engineering for improving soil properties. The method of testing used in this study was that scrap tire shred were added to the soil and binding agent of cement 2% and 4% were rapidly included and were tested to determine the improvement of soil behavior in both soap and unsoap condition. As a result, increasing the CBR value reduced the total thickness of the pavement and the project overall cost. Shredded rubber fiber, on the other hand, can serve as a good reinforcement material. The soil become non-plastic and show maximum strength after a 4% cement modification while a 5% addition of tire chip significantly improved the shear strength parameter. The above mentioned parameter are based on laboratory tested that includes only 5%, 10% and 15% rubber shred with length of 10 to 20 mm and thickness of 2 to 3 mm. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to Dr. Muhammad Khairid bin Abdul Talib. My name is Muhammad Hafiz bin Johan and my metric number is CF2061. For case study number 4, the title is Investigation of the Use of Scrap Tire as Soil Reinforcement by Shafan Abdullah Tahir, Hussein Jalal Aswad Hassan and Asad Faramazi. This study investigate the effect of tire shredded that were randomly mixed with sand and clay to enhance their engineering properties. A few tests were carried out as part of this inquiry. The test involved in this investigation is the Atabat Limit Test, Liquid Limit Test, Compaction Test, Loading and Unloading Odometer Test, and Direct Shearbox Test. As a result, the inclusion of shredded tire in the sand generally increased its shear strength parameter and friction angle. Next, Compression and Recompression Indexes increased gradually 
with the shredded tire content for the clay. And last, and last but not least, the strength parameter of the sand shredded tire mixture improved due to the mobilization of the tensile resistance of the shredded tires during the shear, which caused the reinforcement of the sand by absorbing the shear load. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Dr. Muhammad Khaidir bin Abu Talib and to all my fellow friends. My name is Muhammad Arif bin Zulkifli and my metric number is CF200085. For my part is for the case study number 5 that we have our group have research is the stabilization of soil by use of waste tire rubber that is authorized by by Kiru Bakarin and Dinesh. Okay, uh, for the research is we have to study the improvement of the bearing capacities of the clay soil using the waste tire rubber and also for this research to investigate the optimal moisture content in the soil using waste tire rubber as well as the improvement of clay soil settlement using waste tire rubber. Okay, we go to the next part. In this research, Some of the technique have been used to investigate the optimum moisture content in the soil using waste tire rubber. That is the method is Atterberg limit test, sieve analysis, oven dry method and lastly unconfined compressive strength of cohesive soil. Then we go to the last part that is for the result. Okay, as a result, we may stabilize the soil by using scrap tire rubber which is, aban which is abandoned as a waste. And also, the conclusion that we got is the waste tire rubber chips were used in a model and confined comprehensive strength, te strength test to increase the bearing capacity of the foundation. That's all for my part. Thank you for watching my slide. Next, for the first application, which is lightweight backfill with tire chips. Use of tire chips as lightweight backfill for retaining wall has several potential benefits. They are inexpensive compared to other type of lightweight fields. In areas where the underlying soil is weak or compressible, tire chips with their low unit width will apply a smaller vertical stress than conventional backfill leading to a lower settlement. The horizontal stress and shear stress on retaining wall will be lower Then we conventional backfill resulting in a less expensive retaining wall design. The insulation qualities of tire chips will reduce frost penetration. Finally, their high permeability will provide good drainage. Next, I will continue for the second application which is tire chip used as a leachate drainage material. Tire chip have been used in the design and construction of leachate collection system at munis municipal solid waste landfill. A 30 cm depth of leachate is maintained over the flexible membrane liner in the above design as a result of the reduced amount of sediment entering the leachate collection system, more leachate was collected and removed and less maintenance was required on pump filter and the handling system. So that's all from me. I will pass the presentation to our next group member. Thank you. For the application used in retaining wall backfill under earthquake loading, according to model test result, the addition of tire chip either as a cushion or as a reinforcing material could significantly reduce the earthquake induced permanent displacement of structure. In addition, the use of tire chip in retaining wall backfill has proven successful when subjected to seismic effect. The primary material utilized in this design is TDA, tire derived aggregate. TDA is a lightweight recycled construction material made by cutting scrap tire into 25 until 305 mm pieces. TDA has been employed in various civil engineering applications for the past two decades including subgrade and embankment fill, retaining wall and bridge abutment backfill subgrade insulation to prevent frost penetration and lateral edge grains. Next, for the fourth application for ground improvement of problematic soils using shredded waste tire is increase in bearing capacity of sand reinforced with tie chips. Various researchers discovered that the bearing capacity of footing reinforced with tire chips 
was raised as a result of a better understanding of the behavior of rubber soil mixture. On the other hand, the efficiency of rubber reinforcement was increased by the addition of rubber content with parameter such as the thickness of shred and the layer being considered within certain limit. And finally, the finding strongly suggests the use of rubber shred obtained from non-reusable tire as an available alternative way for improve the soil behavior, particularly when the environment interest is considered. Okay, then we go to the last part that is conclusion for the ground improvement of problematic soils using shredded waste tire. Uh, for the first part is we have achieved the study goals which was to review the past studies that use waste material for soil stabilization and lessen the environmental effect. And also to the for the next part, as a conclusion, are taken from shredded tires that we can do much use from the tires, such as lightweight backfill with tire chips. Tire chips are used as a leachate drainage material, used in retaining wall backfill under earthquake loading and sand reinforced with tire chips bearing capacity increase. And lastly, for the conclusion, as a result incorporating shredded tires into boot soil tires improve the strange behavior significantly because of the substantial quantities of shredded waste tires and locally accessible soils may be utilized it is possible to conclude that the usage in geotechnical application will have a net beneficial impact on the environment that's all for our group Thank you for watching our group slide.